Sylvia and Noah Taylor with VolReport.com on the Rivals Network. We're here in Thompson Bowling Arena where we were just able to watch Tennessee's men's basketball team practice and get a catch up with players Dalton Connect and Jordan Ganey and then Jordan Ganey's dad and Tennessee men's basketball assistant coach Justin Ganey before they took the court for practice. So Noah, what were some takeaways you had from watching them out there today? Yeah, you know, we get two guys you just mentioned that are that were some highly talented transfers. This was obviously a big transfer class for Tennessee. I think uh, one thing that stood to me with Dalton Connect was he was asked what kind of the biggest difference is a guy coming from Northern Colorado to now the SEC, a guy Tennessee's expecting to contribute. He talked a lot about the physicality, which I think you could probably expect at a place like Tennessee uh, under Rick Barnes um, being a real eye opener for a guy like him. But I think the, him and Jordan both talking about that, that change and, you know, talked a little bit to Justin Ganey too about how the defense needs to improve out of both those guys as well, that, which is something to Rick Barnes players are expected to, to do. Um, but I think that, that was probably my biggest takeaway is definitely their transition to this game. And obviously for the last hour or so, we've been out there being able to watch them kind of transition a little bit and scrimmage a little bit, which has been cool. So yeah, you could definitely get a good look at those guys today. Yeah, Dalton Connect coming in should be a big offensive piece for Tennessee. Another guy that could kind of shoot the lights out like Connect is Freddie Dilio. Not a transfer, but a newcomer to this team in a way as he joined the team during last year's winter and redshirted. Now he's going to play in his first collegiate season before likely being taken in the NBA draft. Watching him out there, he looks like the total offensive package, can play point guard, can shoot well, and is starting to come into his own as a defender. So he's someone that we can look out for. But another big storyline is the father-son connection here at Tennessee within the men's basketball program. So just what were your kind of thoughts on, on what they were able to say today? Yeah, it was really cool. It, it kind of gives you some insight that you don't hear a lot about because it doesn't. I guess it doesn't happen a lot in, in, in the transfer portal. Um, a, a, a father and son duo here now at Tennessee with, with uh, Jordan and Justin Ganey. And, you know, Justin provided a little bit of insight to us about how he goes about that, you know, being on a coaching staff that's recruiting his son from another school. And, you know, both Justin and Jordan talked about Justin putting on the father cap, you know, and trying to sit on the sidelines during that recruitment. Obviously, a lot of that recruitment was through Rick Barnes and not Justin himself, but he, he seemed genuinely thrilled about having his son on the team and, and being able to spend, you know, his, his next half of his college career with him here in Tennessee. And, and really a chance for him to, to show out on a huge stage after being in the Southern Conference in the last few years. Yeah, definitely a big opportunity for the Ganey family. I agree, I thought it was interesting that he said, I, I just put the dad hat on. I didn't want to be trying to swing him to Tennessee, of course. I was there for him and I answered all of his questions he may have, but I was more so staying back as a dad throughout the recruitment. So I thought that was a really interesting thing. It should be interesting to see how that dynamic plays out this year. So that'll do it from us at Vol Report. Make sure you go to volreport.com for all of our written content and for the message boards. And then subscribe right here at the Vol Report YouTube channel. We'll have more content on the way soon as we're traveling to Nashville on Thursday for SEC Media Days to preview the football season.